to ask you about the raising of the Kundalini and the supposed, um, well, actually, the actual transmutation of the DNA that's supposed to happen over the next three to however many years, whenever 2012 really actually occurs. How do we, um, what should we expect when that happens, and, and do you actually know about that? Well, I know a little bit about it. I know a little bit about a lot of things, but I know enough about you. <laughs> but either way, uh, to get past from that old Mills Brothers song, the idea that everything has a current and everything has a wave and everything has a rate of vibration is true. And it appears in the food, it appears in the air, it appears in the water, it appears in everything that we do. And in kundalini vibrations and in yoga and in teaching of hatha yoga and chi force, it simply means that you start tuning up your body just like an instrument to receive higher vibrations. The vibrations are already out there, and they're already on every spectrum you can. But if we're tuned low, if we're, not, if we're uh, synthetic and not acoustical, <laughs> then you're going to get the vibrations that you ask for. So I am I low. I have a problem with, um, like, I just made some comments in the room here about um, all the uh, people who listen to our shows that are not of our persuasion, shall we say, and I feel like they're like vampires looking at everything that we're doing and taking from us what's going on with us and our possible transmutation that's about to happen. I have a, well, get, getting back to me, I have a problem with losing my temper about stuff like that, and um, that's going to keep me from, from ascending, right? Losing your temper means that you're not channeling your chi. It means that you're taking the low vibration. You see, a temper is temporous, tempore, to change the frequency of per se. You can go high, you can go low. Don't lose your temper. Get away from the source that is causing your temper to be inflamed. Get away from the thones that are doing that. And if not, and if you can't fight that battle, then until you're ready to become a warrior, don't join him in the chat room. You see, the first fight starts from within you, getting rid of the beast, the devil that has you, mm -hmm. getting rid of all the things you know that you could do better than. And you know it. <laughs> Anytime you're silent, your body will tell you, this should be stopped, that should be stopped, you should do this. But it's hard at first. But once you start doing it, it becomes a battle that is joyful to win because you can feel the vibrations better. You feel better. You take all that energy that's being used in temper and use it to temper out the bad things within you to cleanse your body, to cleanse your body and mind, body, spirit, and soul. And when you do that, there's a joy that comes. And there's an energy that comes around your field, and those kind of people are going to stay away from you. You can say one word in a sentence said correctly that will scare everybody to death, send them away, or draw them to you. It's the correct use of words and the correct use of thought. Those chat rooms, don't let them get to you. They're yeah. doing that. And why are they listening? Because they're trying to learn. You're right. But if they're learning, there's a part of them, if they have a soul, and most of them do, it's just in a low vibration, that will still be peaked and tweaked, as they call it, tweaking now and tweetering. <laughs> and twittering. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm saying to you. You know what to do. Use that energy in a more constructive sense. And if you're already fighting a battle, you don't have time to get angry with somebody else because the battle's already been. The battle first starts with you and then join the universal creator's mind and start speaking truth, saying truth. And if they don't hear it, then they're not supposed to hear it. Like you're not supposed to hear what they're saying because you already know where they're coming from. They don't know where you're going. Well, it's not just that. I mean, I have a problem with my temper with family and friends and mate and everything. So I was just looking at how that that stops you from being able to um, to take on the new energy and to transmutate your DNA, right? So that's what I was talking about just in general. But you answered the question. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for sharing. Bye-bye. All right, all right. We got 25 minutes left. Once again, call the number 646-727-2039. Please give them that website. Once again, Dr. Blair, just in case they want some products. www.the, T-H-E, Meta Center, M-E-T-A-C-E-N-T-E-R.com, www.themetacenter.com. The landline, 708 Four two two six six eight five seven zero eight four two two six six eight five. We have hundreds of products up there for mind, body, spirit, and soul. The monatomic gold, fifteen different kinds. The magnets, forty different kinds. The diodes, fifteen different kind. Brain boosters, sex. By the way, too, <laughs> I should have gone there a long time ago. One of our magnetic products is a penis ring. And many of the brothers have bought it. We sell lots. In fact, that's becoming, outside of the cell phone dial, it's becoming one of our best products again. It works on the idea of magnetism. And let me explain how that works. 
your red blood cells have um, iron in them. That's what they call iron, poor blood, or strong blood, and so on and so It also has a bunch of other minerals, too. I realize that. But the red blood cells, because they have iron in them, can be drawn to magnets. The red blood cells carry your oxygen. So wherever you place a magnet in, on, around your body, it's going to draw the red blood cells iron and therefore oxygen. So if you want to speed up healing, you put the, the you put if you got a sprain for instance now, you got a lot of ball games being played, baseball, basketball, football, ice hockey, everything else. They're getting sprains all over the place. What are they doing? They're taking uh, they're taking a hot and cold towel and hot and cold aspirations. That is cold. That's that's horse and buggy in in very in, in, in very strong UFO. You take a magnet, a strong Gauss magnet, wrap it around there. There'll be no swelling because the swelling comes from the white blood cells, the leukocytes and macrophages, trying to stop any germs and bacteria from that break or tear or sprain. Okay. There won't be because the germ cannot live in a strong magnetic field. So now all you're going to do is getting blood drawn down there. The iron in the blood would be drawn to the magnet, and the healing starts immediately. If it takes eight weeks, it'll take four weeks. If it takes two weeks, it'll take one week. You heal twice as fast because you're now you're using magnetism. Drink magnetic water, sleep on a magnetic mattress pad, use a diode, and watch what happens, how the healing thing is almost miraculous what happens because we're now getting in time we're supposed to use higher consciousness for higher forms of treatment and not the old horse and buggy reptile things. Okay, okay. Uh, Red Pill, you still there? Yeah, I'm definitely still here. What you think about the show so far, uh, Red Pill? Just, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and rewind it and play it piece by piece because it's so <laughs> informative. Make sure you send me a copy, too, because I've let a whole lot out tonight because I like Brother Rich and I like the response. And if they say the Creator wants everybody to wake up, and if I can be a vessel or two, I want to do it well. No doubt, definitely. I wanted to ask you a question, though, because I, I've noticed that you said about slaying the beast within. And I just did a, U, I did a YouTube clip, and I put that inside of the clip, and it's very, you know, ironic that you mentioned that. Can you go a little bit further? Because I know a lot of people, including our listening audience, as well as other people, are struggling with this enemy that they have within, you know what I'm saying? And for people to pay attention to, you know, themselves and everybody around them, they can notice that this fight is starting to really take place. So do you have any, any more um, wisdom to add on to that? Well, my wisdom comes from the universal prime creator, so the wisdom is endless and boundless. All I have to do is raise my vibes and be strong enough to get those higher magnetic currents. And you guys have given me enough strength and energy to do so, so let's hope it flows, okay? There was what they call the Merkaba, and in the Kabbalah, and so it shows again that the Mer means wave or movement or water. The Kanaba of the spirit and the soul. And the Allah is the higher most that reaches through and coordinates all of that. So the Makahaba gives you a vehicle of life, the Ka'anaba. This is what pyramids were used for originally, for transportation devices. And those who were in the Confederation had them everywhere that they went. This is what your consciousness does when you begin to raise it. And when you meditate before going to sleep at night and give orders to of parking your car in a bad neighborhood, you take your car, lock the doors, and tell it exactly where it's supposed to go, lock it up and leave. Okay. Any time that you can begin to work with a higher consciousness within you, you're killing off the beast. There is an animal brain within it, right down there in the lower portions of it, right beneath the orchid gland. There is an animal brain at the top of our spine, that is the top of the sephora, the caduceus, the, the sleeve that must be slain, the nubogastic idapengala nerves that wrap around the spine. It is a risen Christ, Christe, Christy, not Christ Jesus, but Christ, the Christe, like Christa and Krishna and Buddha, the raised one and the high one and the knowing one and the black one. So when you raise that to get to that pineal gland blackness up there again, you now have the energies running the right way and you're past the animal. The animal is subdued. You are now using it as you want to, using the superpower of the magnet, using the superpower of the beast to can be controlled. Not like the sister said, getting angry and losing a temper. You raise that temper to bring temporal energy to raise it to the consciousness and you can do more from the, from the higher planes to the physical than you can from the physical to the higher planes. It's it's a matter of ascension, the ascension consciousness, the ascension time, and the ascension things that you can use to do it. Gold, chlorophyll, getting rid of the poisons, the heavy meats, the aspartame, all the, the stupidity that we've been told to use. Raise the things that will help you to raise your consciousness. The animal and beast are subdued. You now control the beast. Release it when you want to. In the way you want to, it doesn't control it. You control it. 